Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is possibly take two or episode two of the fan spotlight series or fan feature series. Uh, that is our working title. Um, as you would have seen in the last video, we had a lot of technical issues, so hopefully we can get it to work this time. Anyways, um, with that kind of preamble out of the way, uh, we left off yesterday on the Moffat's Day website on GeoCities. Fan website. So we're going to pull it up right now. Uh, GeoCities. Okay, so once again we're running into battery issues. But we're going to try. Um, okay, so here's the home page again. Uh, we have the Scott Moffat fan art. And then right below that we have the Submodalities fan art. Fan art. Um, fan cover. Fan cover. What am I saying? <laughs> uh, we have the Submodalities cover art. And signed and everything. Um, so yeah, just like yesterday, we are running into issues where it's not displaying correctly because we're on mobile. Um, but maybe we can split this episode between here and at home. So we can still kind of like enjoy the cafe environment. And, uh, yeah, so... Where did we leave off yesterday? Uh, we were looking at the updates on the homepage. The last update was, depending on how you read the dates, I want to say the last update on this website was March 16th, 2003. It was nearly 20 years ago. But then uh, you scroll down, um, you see the information about the other bands that I mentioned yesterday. Um, I believe Clint and Bob started another project called Push uh, immediately following the breakup of the Moffats in 2000, 2001, somewhere in there. Okay, so these are the drinks that we missed out on yesterday because our video had cut out. Uh, so this is a melon soda. And it's served in a very cute boot shaped glass. Can we get the logo in? Okay, so there it is. Last time we got melon soda everywhere, so we're gonna try not to do that again. Um, so yeah, this update about the Moffat's mansion, that one's dated back to, I wanna say August 12th, 2001. But depending on how you read the date, that could be December 8th, 2001. Yeah, yeah, this has to be December 8th, 2001, not August 12th, 2001. Either way. 
Um, so that was more than 20 years ago. Um, so they, this house was located in a community called Rag Creek. Um, so we're gonna pull that up on Google Maps. Um, I didn't think I had to download Google Maps before we started this episode, but we'll try to do it now. <laughs> um, this episode I'm really gonna have to get out and do some exercise because this is a lot of ice cream in the last two days <laughs> my god mm. <clears throat> and I may have to block this out because of privacy stuff if some of my locations come up yeah yeah sure enough um, I'm gonna have to but we're gonna I'm gonna pull up Bread Creek. <clears throat> Wait for it to load. Okay, so yeah, our battery's starting to run out again, but we'll try to get this done quickly. Um, what I noticed when I looked up Bread Creek is that it's really not that far from Kananaskis country. Can we find it on Google Maps? Mobile. Okay, yeah, here's uh, Kananaskis country. Uh, it's not that far. So there's Brad Creek. I'm gonna go northwest. You're gonna find out very quickly that my sense of direction is not great. Oh yeah, okay, so yeah, we're, we've got ourselves situated finally. Um, we might wanna speed that up so you're not sitting through all of this, but like, yeah, so Red Creek was not far from Kananaskis country at all. Um, I noticed that when I looked it up on the desktop, and uh, what we missed out on the last episode was, um, before we got cut off, <laughs> I was talking about my field trip from grade eight. We had gone to Kananaskis country. Um, the year was 1999 to 2000. And it was like right, right around the time uh, between the 1999 version of chapter one in uh, submodalities. So right in that time period is when we went on that field trip. And um, yeah, honestly, it was kind of lame because they had us go cross country and I was actively complaining about this at the time too, that we went cross country skiing instead of downhill skiing. And I thought it was super lame. But looking back on that as an adult, I think the reason why we skipped out on that was because the school didn't want the liability issues. So yeah, there was that. Um, I, when it, maybe we're not screen recording anymore, but um, So we're gonna have to hurry because we're running out of battery. Um. Okay, so we're back. Um. But yeah, um, so we went cross-country skiing and then um, 
we took a day trip to Banff. And I complained about that too because we went into Banff, uh, the town of Banff, during the nighttime, like after dark, and we went there for shopping in hot springs. And I complained the whole time because we couldn't see the mountains. Um, we had access to like the viewing deck and everything, but we couldn't use any of the provided facilities because you know it was night and so so I thought that was kind of lame um but then the night was spent staying up late in the girl in the <laughs> the night was spent staying up late in the girls dorm and uh, we were singing stupid songs <laughs> like uh, Sally the Camel and um what else was there put the lime in the coconut. <laughs> yeah, um, the songs that we used were Sally the Camel and um, put the lime in the coconut. So yeah, that was basically our field trip in a nutshell. Um, and it was kind of funny, my family ended up moving to another location the following year. And we did go on a skill, uh, skill trip. Do I have like Skillshare uh, on the brain or something? Skill, skill, skill trip? A skill share. No, not sponsored. But um, yeah, the following year we moved and we did go on a ski, a ski trip. I believe it was to Rabbit Hill. And um, yeah, there was downhill skiing provided, but I ended up staying in the lodge the whole time. So I was like, why didn't it? Why did I even go? <laughs> So that happened. Um, I think I can't say why. Like, why would you go on a ski trip and then not participate? I don't have an answer to that, but um, I think it was because at least part of the reason was because it was really pretty hard that year, uh, 2000 to 2001. Uh, it was grade nine, but I think everyone's ninth year of school is pretty terrible. Um, anyway, we're just kind of rambling at this point and we're running out of battery power. Um, so I don't know, like maybe this follow up has been a bust, but um, yeah, we're making a mess. But um, even if this follow up is a bust, maybe we still have some blooper footage that we can use in the original video. So thank you so much for stopping by. Um, make sure to like, share, subscribe. All that stuff really helps me out and never forget to embrace the imperfections. We'll see you next time. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is take two or possibly episode two of the fan feature or um, what is it called? Fan feature or fan spotlight. Okay, hello everyone, this is basically, let's start from the top. Hello everyone, welcome back, one more time. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is basically take two or episode two of what the site is. Um, hopefully, I don't know, um, <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is take two or possibly part two of the artist, uh, fan artist spotlight series or, um, what is this going to be called? I don't know. <laughs>